I am a role-playing game fan. A major role-playing game fan. Shin Megami Tensei, Dragon Quest, Fire Emblem, Golden Sun, Xenoblade, anything. I'm a fan. A genre that always intrigued me aside from RPGs is games with real-time strategy gameplay. I have tried a game in the past from a developer that I love called Vanillaware back in early 2020 and that game is called 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. 13 Sentinels has a great RTS combat system that I loved. George Kamitani is the director of 13 Sentinels and after beating the game and reading multiple interviews with Mr. Kamitani, I became a big fan of his right away. Needless to say that when NIS America teamed up with Vanillaware to bring back a PlayStation 2 classic with a heavy focus on real-time strategy and that was also directed by George Kamitani himself, I was stoked. Today, I am taking a look at Grim Grimoire once more for Nintendo Switch. Grim Grimoire is a PlayStation 2 game that was released in 2007. Grim Grimoire is a game where the player plays as Lilith Blonde, a witch who just joined the school where the game takes place, Tower of Silver Star. She is learning magic through professors of Silver Star Academy, Opalnaria, a necromancy specialist, Gamel, a demon, and Chartreuse, my personal favorite, a half-human, half-lion teacher. As you progress through the story of Grim Grimoire, you will learn more about the secrets of Silver Star Tower and its various different teachers. This game has a very, very special story because as you play it, you will quickly understand that someone is manipulating time and causing time loops. After getting one step closer to her goal, Lilith loops back to a prior incident causing a lot of problems in her journey because this scenario that I just described keeps happening over and over and over. I have to be honest here, the story of Grim Grimoire, while I don't think it's lacking necessarily, it was not for me. I had a hard time keeping up with what was happening at times with all the time changes and time loops. That being said, I did find the characters and their interactions with one another to be extremely original and also engrossing. I think where the story suffers most is how it's actually played out. Basically, you get a story scene with character interactions and story development and then you get thrown into a battle. After the battle, you get back into the story with another story scene. And I'll talk about the battles themselves later in the review, but since these battles are generally over 20 minutes long each, having a complex story with time loops makes it very hard to keep up with. At least, that's what happened for me. The game is fully voice acted with English or Japanese dub available to pick from, which definitely helped with my immersion of the game. Now, I don't mean to sound too harsh here with the story because regardless of the main flaw that I just brought up, I had quite a bit of fun working my way through Grim Grimoire's story. Aside from the main story, you also have side content that you can play through if you feel like it, which basically consists of additional battles called Trials. And this is where it gets even more interesting. Grim Grimoire has a fantastic RTS combat system. It plays in a 2D environment and you control Lilith. Lilith learns the ability to use different grimoires as she progresses through the main game. Each grimoire has different spells that allow it to summon different creatures, all with unique and distinct affinities and skills. There is a ton of strategy involved here since certain creatures are weak against others and you don't necessarily know what runes your opponent is going to be using to summon their creatures before the battle starts. You have a lot of time to complete a battle, but you also have the ability to speed it up if you feel confident enough. That is a classic RTS feature that RTS games offer, Grim Grimoire included. To summon new runes, which allows you to summon more creatures, you need to gather crystals. Crystals can be gathered with certain creatures, some better than others depending on which map you're playing and where your runes are located, also against which opponent you're playing. This battle system and gameplay style is an absolute blast and I loved every second of it. The UI definitely looked a little bit crowded at first, but I quickly became used to it. The side missions that I mentioned before are even more interesting than main story missions because they add special requirements to them. For example, you might not be allowed to summon that powerful dragon that you milk 
through a thundering story missions, or maybe they they're going to limit the number of runes that you can summon, or just block a certain grimoire from a trial. It's insanely fun and can be quite challenging at times. What's also great with these new trial missions that the once more version of Grim Grimoire added is that they also provide you with coins when you beat them. Coins that you can use in a brand new skill tree for this remastered version of the game. In this skill tree for Grim Grimoire once more, you can expand the abilities and skills of your different grimoires. Possibilities are endless, believe me guys, with abilities that for example, are going to increase the movement speed of a certain unit or give additional power to another unit. You can even refund previously added abilities in the skill tree if you absolutely need another ability for a certain mission. Grim Grimoire is said to be around a 15 hour game, but believe me when I say that if you want to double that with the side content, you absolutely can. The visual style of Grim Grimoire is classic vanilla, it's absolutely stunning from start to finish. The character designs are crazy unique, and while environments don't necessarily stand out as much as other vanillaware releases, creature designs and interesting design choices more than compensate. Grim Grimoire once more gives us brand new HD visuals to look at, and they look great at all times. It does not look like a PlayStation 2 game at all. And I'm talking about both the menus and also the different UIs that you're going to see uh, while playing this game, but also during story scenes while and while playing through a battle. It looks great at all times. Oh, and I cannot talk about the visual style without mentioning the different art pieces that you collect when beating a level. Oh my god, are they gorgeous. Grim Grimoire is not only pure joy to look at, it also sounds amazing. The soundtrack for the game perfectly captures the magical vibes that the game clearly is going for. While I sadly cannot say that Grim Grimoire once more is my new favorite Vanillaware game, I definitely think it is a worthy addition to any gamer who's into RTS games or just Vanillaware fans in general. I enjoyed my time with the game from start to finish and it definitely leaves me wanting more Vanillaware on Switch because these visuals look amazing on my OLED screen. Thank you so much for watching my review and a big thank you to NIS America for providing me with a review copy.